Ok, depending on what size your ball joint bolts are, you to take these two ball joint, or one ball joint bolt out on this side, one on this side, and of course these were opposite of each other, I mean this one, not opposite, but different sizes, this was 15 millimeter on one side, 17 millimeter on the nut side, this was 19 and 19 on this one, so, but uh, remove your lower ball joints. We've already got the rack bolts out up top. Got the uh, cooler off. It's attached to this. Um, we're going to take the uh, wishbone mount out here, or whatever they call it, dog bone. And this is a bolt that goes all the way through. 18 millimeter on this side, and the nut is fixed on the back side. Um, that'll come out after you get these six bolts out. Like I said, I'm going to put all those in there too. But um, yeah, you can leave the uh, sway bar mounted. It doesn't have to come off. You can leave actually leave the tie rod ends connected. They don't have to come off. Because remember, your rack is staying with the car. All we're doing is lowering the cradle itself. So now we have these three bolts right here. One up there, and uh, let me see, uh, make sure there's no hydraulic lines attached. See, like this one, I think there might. No, I don't know if that's attached or not. No, it's attached to the body itself, so don't have to worry about that. Um, same thing on this side, just got the three, one, two. Uh, I'm not going to be able to see that one right up there, but um, we'll come back. Um, I'm going to go ahead and support this thing while I take the bolts out. Alright, stay tuned. <laughs> 